everyone, this is Cindy from Stamped with Aloha and I have a brand new series of videos to share with you. In this series, I'm gonna teach you several different tropical paper crafting projects. So let's go ahead and get started with project number one, which is going to be a pineapple card. All right, let's begin with a basic white note card and we are going to add a layer of old olive cardstock. This is three and a quarter by four and three quarter inches. So I wanna add some texture and so we're gonna be using our Fern 3D embossing folder. Let me place this in the folder and then I'm gonna go run this through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. All right, and then let's open it up. And now you can see that it has this beautiful fern pattern on it. So I'm gonna turn it over, use my multi-purpose liquid glue, and then I'm gonna go ahead and place this here. All right, so now we have the base of the card and now we're ready to build a pineapple. Next, we're gonna be using some designer series paper. I'm gonna use this 12 by 12 sheet that comes from the He's the Man designer series paper. And I'm gonna use this piece right here. I'm gonna take one of the dies from the He's All That dies, and it looks like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a little piece of this designer series paper using my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Okay, once it's been die cut, it's gonna look like this. And now we wanna add some color. So I'm going to get out a scrap piece of paper here, place that right there. And then I'm gonna get out some Daffodil Delight ink. So let me get my holder and lock this in place. Then we're gonna take one of our blending brushes. I'm going to ink it up on the Daffodil Delight ink. And then I'm gonna just brush it off onto my scrap paper and get some of that initial ink off. And then I'm gonna just bring it over top of my die cut piece, okay? I'm gonna ink it up again and then bring it here and then bring it across. And we just wanna go ahead and continue to do this until we've covered this entire piece with the Daffodil Delight ink. So just continue to add layers of ink until you're satisfied with the color. So this looks good for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. Now, when I do a series of cards, I often use the same product. So one of the things you're gonna see repeated in this series is the use of Laura's tape technique. So if you're not familiar with that, that's where you take a piece of cardstock and then you'll take some tape. So I have scotch tape. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a piece of tape and then I'm going to place this tape on top of the cardstock. So this is garden green cardstock. All right, so I'm gonna cover that. So now I have shiny cardstock that I'm gonna die cut. So I'm gonna take these dies, which are also from the All That dies and there's one that looks like this. It's like these little banner pieces. And then there's two that are curved like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this, just these two, and then I'm gonna run it through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Okay, so once I'm done running it through the machine, it's gonna look like this, and I'll have these three pieces. So this, this die does cut these two individual banners. And so now I have two pieces like that, and then I have one that's curved. So I wanted to use these to form the crown of the pineapple, but because I really like this curved piece, I want that to go there, I want this one to go in the center, I need one more curved piece. So in order to do that, I'm gonna take this die here, and then rather than run it through on the top like this, which would give me another curve to the right, I'm gonna just place this on the back side of the cardstock where there's no tape, and I'm gonna die cut it backwards, okay? Let me go do that now. Okay, so let's take a look at this and we'll pop this out. And now we have the pieces that we need to form the crown of our pineapple. And then you have just an extra one that you can use on your next card. Okay, so let me go ahead and attach these. Okay, and then you have an out of the box pineapple. Let's flip this over and add some dimensionals. So I've added five dimensionals. I've taken off the backing and then I'm going to adhere this to a stitched rectangle die piece. I die cut that out of basic white cardstock. So I'm just gonna place this right here, okay? Then I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna add dimensionals to this layer. All right, I got five more dimensionals on there. They're all peeled and ready to go. And then our pineapple is going to get glued right here to the center of the card. Another thing that you'll see in common in the cards I'm gonna teach you today is the use of the True Beauty Bundle. I'll be using both the dies and the sentiments from this stamp set. So for this particular card, I'm going to use the words that says, you're a true friend. So I'm gonna get out a banner here that I die cut with the stylish shapes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the sentiment, you're a true friend.
Okay, and then I'll just add some adhesive to the back and I'll pop this on the bottom of the card. All right, now what this card needs, it's a pop of color. And so I used the tea dies and I die cut this tiny little flower here. So I'm gonna just add a dimensional to the back of the flower and give this card another layer with a popped up flower. That makes such a big difference. All right, so now this card is almost done. We just need to add a little sparkle to it. I love using iridescent rhinestones, which would look great, but for the cards in the series, I'm gonna be using these flower adhesive back trinkets. Now they come in three different colors and you can see I've been using lots of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these bright ones right here and pop that on the center of the flower and our pineapple card is completed. Well, next we're gonna be moving on to the next video in the series where I'm gonna teach you how to create a palm tree card. So I'll see you back for the next video. Until then, aloha.